Let's take you to this now. Several scientists are exhibiting and demonstrating their innovations at the launch of the National Science Week at the University of Venda in Toyando in Limpopo. 16-year-old Uyatila Munaniwa has invented a solution. This is to deal with sanitation challenges. For more on this now, we take you to our reporter, Rutendo Bobodi, who joins us now. Rutendo, good afternoon. Thank you so much for your time. So what's happening there where you are? Yeah, thank you so much. Um, we're supposed to be speaking to the Minister of Science and Innovation, Dr. Blake Zimande, at this particular time, but uh, he couldn't make it uh, to this um, event here. It's a National uh, Science Week being launched here at the University of Venda. But uh, through Zoom, he said that uh, uh, he urged universities to share their scientific findings uh, with the public so to generate uh, interest uh, in, in, in science and also help uh, to elevate or to elevate poverty um, in, in South Africa. You, they can't just be uh, scientists uh, who, are, who are just laying back and not doing anything. They should help with their scientific research to try and de defeat uh, poverty uh, in South Africa. As you said, you know, in Trump joined here uh, by Uechi Ramunenyiwa, who has invented a solution uh, for sanitation. And she, she joins me here and she'll give us more on that. How are you doing? Great. Uh, talk to us about your invention, your solution. What is it about? Well, the invention simply started as participation of a competition offered by the Department of Water and Sanitation, which is through the South African Youth Water Prize. So they um, said you should find a solution for a problem that um, is there at your community or your school. So I found that there is a sanitation uh, problem at our school. So there is water, water sh sorry, water shedding due to um, load shedding. So I found a way in order to power the whole sanitation system using only renewable energy so that it can be solely dependent on renewable energy 24 seven. And another aspect of the project is that to ensure there was the reliable water supply, which I then used different water sources, river water, rain water, and bohol water together with the municipality water because I wanted to decompress the pressure that the municipality has to supply water to the communities. But I'm quite aware that there are other areas where there is no rivers or there are no rain waters. But what I'm trying to say is that what if we harness all the water sources that are there so that we can ensure that people have reliable water supply. After all, sanitation is dignity. And the last aspect of things of the project was um, the chemical aspect which I then use um, sodium hypochlorite in order to ensure that every time an individual or a learner flushes the toilet, the toilets are being cleaned and the smells are being eradicated. And you're, you're only 16. Yes. I'm Tell me, what, what prompted your interest in science? <laughs> so, I know she's going to freak out when she sees this, but my teacher, Ms. Ravluma, is the one who made me fall in love with science. I like to say that All right, Rutendo Bobodi on that story for us. We will try and get him back on the line as and when uh, he continues there with his guest. And of course, he continues these conversations about uh, National Science Week. Rutendo, I'm sure you can hear me now. You may continue now with your conversation there. Global issues. So that, it, that is what spiked my interest in science. And this is only just the beginning, to be honest. Uh, okay. And... Um, what do you want to? What do you want to be? What do you want to do when you, <laughs> you're done with your uh, school? Well, I was thinking that maybe I should do a a, a degree in physics, but uh, I also wanted something that is more practical, more than theoretical. So I'm opting for engineering, okay. mechanical engineering, and yeah, I'm. I, I was there, and I thought maybe I'm just gonna get a BSc and be done with school. But as I was there, I was motivated by people with. Yeah. PhDs, people with masters, so now I'm considering doing it all the way until I get a PhD and hopefully be called Professor Mnenyo Awachi. Okay, thank you so much for your time. And no problem. All the best. Thank you. Very thank you so much, Mkolisia. Yeah, we, we've met a lot of smart people here. I don't even know if I understood the jargon that... Yeah, but one thing's for sure, Rutendo, I can tell you that the country's future is certainly in good hands. We will try and get Rutendo back on the program a bit later on.